In this lesson, we're going to look at some of the properties used to solve linear inequalities. This will be our first look at solving these inequalities. And I want you to know that solving inequalities is very similar to solving equations. It feels almost exactly the same, but there's one important difference that we'll talk about in just a minute. And after you solve, you're going to need to graph and write the answer in interval notation and also something called set builder notation. Now the one big difference between solving equations and inequalities is that if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative, you must reverse the inequality symbol. I know that at first it's going to seem like this is a rule that somebody made up um, just kind of like you'd make up rules in a Monopoly game or something. It it feels very odd at first, but you have to remember that on the left end of the number line, the numbers get smaller as they go to the left. So as the as they get further away from zero, they actually get smaller, although the number itself looks bigger, it's actually smaller. For example, negative 100 is smaller than negative 3, and the numbers are backwards on the left side. So that's why if you divide by negative, it changes everything around, and you need to flip that inequality symbol over. So here I have x plus 8 is less than or equal to 14. Now if this were an equation, what we would do is get rid of the 8, and that's still what we do. We did minus 8 on both sides. That gives us x is less than or equal to 6. I graph this on a number line, and I shade to the left, and I put my bracket because of the or equal 2 bar, and now we'll give our interval notation from negative infinity to 6. Okay, now let's look at what's called set builder notation. Set builder notation uh, comes in curly braces, and I'm just going to go ahead and write it. It looks like this. And you read this the set of all x's such that x is less than or equal to 6. Notice that this inequality is just a repeat of what we already saw when we solved the inequality. So all you'll need to do when you are asked for set builder notation is put the inequality inside the curly braces. And if you're working on the computer, you'll be given the braces and the x such that line, and all you really have to supply is the inequality. It's the same one we already found. So here is another inequality. 6x plus 6 is less than or equal to 5x plus 8. If this were an equation, you would start by subtracting 5x from both sides. So that's what I've done here. Now 6x minus 5x is 1x, and we have plus 6, and that's less than or equal to 8. Now we will subtract 6 from both sides. We want to eliminate that plus 6 and we will get x is less than or equal to 2. So let's graph it. The less than numbers are to the left, and the or equal 2 line there. Okay, now, left end, right end. So negative infinity to 2, that, that's our interval notation. And then the set builder notation, you'll put curly braces. Well, oh, hang on there. Let's not look at all of that yet curly braces, x, all the x is such that x is less than or equal to 2. And notice again, this inequality is simply the inequality that we found as our answer. All right, now we're ready for that next problem. So here I have x minus 1 fifth is greater than or equal to 1 eighth. And since this has denominators, we want to multiply those away using the common denominator. So I'm going to multiply each term by 40 because 5 and 8 give us a common denominator of 40. So here, 40 times x is 40x. 40 divided by 5 is 8. And 40 divided by 8 is 5. 
Okay, now continue solving. You'll want to add 8 to both sides. That will give us 40x is greater than or equal to 13. Divide both sides by 40. And you'll have x is greater than or equal to 13 over 40. Now don't let it bother you if this is a fraction. That's okay. That's going to happen every now and then. You just graph your inequality. Shade to the right. And put the bracket. Now let's give the interval notation. Remember it's left end, right end. So bracket 13 fortieths, comma, infinity. And then for set notation, we will say the set of all x's such that x is greater than or equal to 13 fortieths. Here's another example we'll take a look at. Negative 11y plus 12 is greater than 14 minus 12y. So first, let's decide which term to eliminate. And we're going to look at both y terms. And the smaller y term is the negative 12y. Because remember, negative 12 is actually smaller than negative 11. So we will add 12y to both sides of the equal, or the, not equal mark, but the inequality. And the left side will become y plus 12. And the right side is 14. So now let's get rid of the plus 12. We will subtract 12 from both sides and get y is greater than 2. Okay, so let's graph it. Of course, we shade to the right. We use a parenthesis and... Our interval notation is uh, parenthesis 2 comma infinity, from 2 to infinity. And then our set notation is all the y's such that y is greater than 2. Okay, now here is another inequality. x over 3 is greater than negative 1. So to solve this, I want to eliminate the divided by 3 part. Remember, to, do, to eliminate divided by 3 we will put a 3 in the top and that means we have to put a 3 on the right side as well. So now I've multiplied both sides by 3 and the 3's here will cancel out and will leave us with just x and on the right side negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Now notice I did not flip my inequality symbol over because negative well because what we did here is we multiplied both sides by positive 3 and even though this came out negative, what we multiplied by was positive. And so to, to a graph, we will have our, we'll shade to the right of negative 3. And we'll use a parenthesis. And our interval notation will be from negative 3 to infinity. And our set notation will be all the x's such that x is greater than negative 3. So remember, it's exactly the same inequality from our, from our answer. Now remember, we've already talked about this, but we haven't actually used it yet. You've, you must flip the inequality symbol over if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative. And we're going to get to see that here. So let's try to solve negative 2x is greater than or equal to negative 16. So to solve this, what I would want to do is divide both sides by this coefficient, which is negative 2. And as soon as I divide both sides by a negative, this is no longer true. Now I have to flip the symbol over because I've divided both sides by a negative, and now I have x is less than or equal to 8. So just as before, I still shade to the left of 8, use my bracket, interval notation is from negative infinity to 8, bracket, and here's our set builder notation, all the x's such that x is less than or equal to 8. So here's another inequality. I've got 2y minus 5 is less than 5y minus 11. Now I know we've always had this kind of guideline before that we would try to eliminate the smaller y term. And you could still do that, but in this case I'm going to say 
let's try to keep our y on the left because we know from earlier that graphing is always easier when your variable is on the left. So instead of doing minus 2y on both sides, let's this time do minus 5y on both sides. And we will have 2y uh, minus 5, minus 5y five is going to give us negative 3y minus 5. And on the right side, we get negative 11. So our next step would be to add 5 to both sides. And we're going to get negative 3y is less than negative 6. We're going to divide both sides by negative 3. And that's going to cause us to have to flip over our inequality symbol. And that will give us y is greater than 2. Of course, we uh, graph it. We give the interval notation. And we give the set builder notation. Now, I don't know if anybody is wondering what would have happened if we had, um, instead of doing minus 5y on both sides, what if we had done minus 2y on both sides? Because some of you might have wanted to do minus 2y on both sides since that's the way we've always done our equations. Remember, we've talked a lot about eliminating the smaller variable term. So if you had done minus 2y on both sides, you would have ended up with minus 5 is less than 3y minus 11, which is okay, but the, the problem is that y is on the right. But let's continue solving. Let's add 11 to both sides. And now we have 6 is less than 3y. What I like about this way is that the variable is positive. So when I divide both sides by 3, I don't have to remember to flip the symbol over. But I do have a problem with my graphing because y is on the right. So what we'll do is we'll just turn the inequality around so that y is on the left. And uh, notice that in this case, since the, the, remember the alligator's mouth eats the bigger number, so in this case, y is bigger and 2 is smaller. So if I, want to, if I want to write it so that the y comes first, I'll say y is greater than 2 because, of course, if 2 is smaller than y, y must be bigger than 2. And see the alligator's mouth still eats the bigger number. So it says the same thing, but the only difference is with this one, the 2 comes first, and with this one, the y comes first. And this one is nicer for graphing. So this that's why we would want to have the y on the left side.